Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make instant binds on CSGO. What I mean by this, is just by the click of a button, you can buy all the nades you want, all the guns you want, just with one click, depending on how much money you have. So to do this, we're going to go to this handy website called Buy oops, Bind Generator, and, enter, and it should be this one, oops, this one right here. Now, you can use the multi-key generator, and what that means is you press two keys, I think, and it activates it, or you can just do the single key, which I find much easier. Now, this is um, depending on what, you're, what, what you want to do. Um, if you want to have numeric keypads, so the right side of your keypad uh, keyboard, then these are the ones you want to choose. These mean the numpad, so not the ones above your letters, the ones on the keypad, so all of these. So for this example, I'm not going to use any of these, and so I'm not going to touch this. What I am going to touch is these things. Now the primary weapons are pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to just make one right now, not have one made already. So let's just get the craziest thing. We Negev, of course, and now secondary. Let's choose Julie's, because why not? And now the gear. This is what you'll buy at the same time. So let's just get a Zeus, because 420 taser it. Uh, diffuse kit and Kevlar helmet. Uh, grenades. If you click this one, it means two, but I click this one, it means one. It's pretty self explanatory. Let's get a Molotov and a decoy. Now, once you've got all you want in here, all you have to do is generate bind. Except for you have to click that one. Actually, <coughs> tell lie. Just put any of these in. If you if you don't want to use any of these, put a random one in. Now, click generate bind. As you can see, this is the bind, bind, keep, end, here, by Negev, Elite, Taser, and all this stuff. So, once you've um, made your bind, it generated right here, you're going to copy the clipboard, which pretty much means it's got done the copy process for you, and we're going to find our folder um, in Steam, CSGO. So, to find that, we're going to click this button here, For this is Windows 7, so I apologize, but it should be in your libraries. And then if you go into computer, your hard drive disk that you installed Steam on, Windows uh, program files 86, go down to S and Steam, go down to Steam apps, at the top common, and then find Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now once you're in uh, CSGO, you're gonna click CSGO, <laughs> and then click CFG, config file. Now I already have my auto exec here, so I'm just going to show you what this looks like. As you can see here are my buy, buy binds, and you can see I have 6, 7, 8, 9 to bind for all of these different things. Now let's make, let's add our bind to this, and let's have it, so let's paste it right there. Now what I was saying earlier is if you don't want one of these, uh, you may, uh, keypad binds which only allows you to do you can actually change yours so I don't want keypad end I don't want that stuff that stuff is lame right gotta go. gotta get with the cool kids um, I'm gonna put it to something such as five because I don't want it to mess up any of these so when I click five it should buy a negative uh, Julius Taser, and I've already explained all of that. So what you're going to want to do now is save. And I also know how to tell you how to make it auto exec. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. Okay, so to make an auto exec, you're going to want to go into your files here. So once you've gone into your CFG, you you won't have this. You won't have this auto exec thing. So what you want to, what you're going to want to do is click new text document and name it auto exec I'm just going to put 2 because I don't want it to get messed up dot c f g so once you've done that you're going to want to open it up uh, save new file okay so here we have it I'll just close all these goodbye 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 so once you've got your new cfg you're going to want to obviously paste it in there and then just change that to my value and then click save 
you can use this, uh, you can open this with Notepad, Notepad++, which I'm using, whatever you want to use. So once you've done that, you're going to want to close this, and then once you head in game, which you really shouldn't have your game open right now. I just want to quickly mention, when you save your new auto exec, do save as, now name, and now it should say normal text file, this is something I didn't mention, and it won't work, I don't think, so you have to put as all types, so if you go save as type, and then all types, and then click save, so now that should work. So now that we're in game, we're going to open up the console. And if you don't know how to open up the console, you're going to go into options, game settings, and then enable de developer console, yes. So once we click that, we shall get up our console. So to activate our, or execute, as it is preferred to say, our auto exec, we're going to put in exec space, whatever you called it. So I called it auto exec two so we're going to click number two and then enter so now that we've executed that once we head into the stay offline of bots or something let's just find bots common casual overpass best map <coughs> he didn't hear that okay so let's just choose ct okie dokie and now let's it, SV cheats it. on just so i can get enough money so sv cheats impulse 101. So now that we have nine Dora, nine thousand Dora, let's do our bind, which is five. Well, bam. So we have our Negev, our Julies, our Incent, Incendiary. and our lovely decoy, and our kit. Decoy. So just with the click of the button. Oh, 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 oh! I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> 